I will break your fingers. Have you done it After my last video on Max, a source close to Spencer reached out to me with the truth about Spencer and they explained all of Spencer's lies that she spread about herself and her backstory on the internet. They would like to remain anonymous, but if any large YouTuber wants to cover this story, reach out to me and I'll put you in contact with my source and you can verify the truth of what I say in this video. So Spencer aka Shelby is a person who was, according to her, involved in a vampire cult. This cult leader was a man called Camden Gerard Davis. He allegedly abused her and kept her in that cult and manipulating her to stay. She ran away to that cult from her abusive family and managed to get out and she went to Mama Max to break the story and make videos about it. My name is Spencer and I am a survivor of Camden Gerard Davis. She's the leader of a destructive cult that has victimized hundreds of minors. This video is our screen for action. On March 18th, 2016, Spencer, a 16-year-old girl from Wiley, Texas, mysteriously disappeared, lured by the illusion of joining a supernatural family as a vampire on some random corner of the internet. She actually found herself ensnared in a dangerous sex cult led by a child predator posing as a werewolf god. The man had recruited hundreds of young children, subjecting them to Almost seven years later, Spencer and the other survivors shared their stories with me. This video serves as their scream for action against their perpetrator. At least that's her side of the story. And her story has plenty of holes in it, as you'll see in a bit. Now, the internet already picked up on this when the whole thing about Max was exposed and everyone already became suspicious of Spencer's intentions. They suspected she's lying, but nobody had the actual truth until now. And recently, an alleged friend of Spencer came out explaining their story with Spencer and how Spencer has lied and manipulated her way through every situation. There has also been some suspicious activity going on in these subreddits, such as brand new accounts joining, making posts about Spencer, and then getting deleted, etc. So there's definitely something weird going on ever since Max tanked his career, and especially since we got him fired from the Casa del Paso thing. So I'll go over each of her many claims about herself and about her past, and her life about Camden, the cult, and life with Mama Max, starting with her past. Her first claim is that she was abused by her family, and this is one of Spencer's main lies. Spencer was not abused by her family, at least from what I gather. She grew up in a good home in Texas and had whatever she wanted. She was obsessed with online serial killer roleplay and all kinds of other not safe for work stuff from a young age, and you can even see that from the Tumblr accounts and who she interacted with. She was also good friends with a person who wrote a lot of this roleplay, still which I won't name right now, and this involved a lot of s and serial killer roleplay be etc. So she most likely started believing all of this roleplay stuff she was involved in. Now when she ran away from home, she alleges that her stepmother hit her. However, this person that reached out to me has a different story. So she was going to have her phone taken away and she didn't like that, so when that happened, she physically struck her stepmother before running away from home. Spencer was never abused as a child, or abused at all. She did go missing when she ran away to a boyfriend, but she was not gone long. There was never a cult, it was a roleplaying group. When her grandfather died, she went to live with Max because he was paying for her to do a story so they could make money on YouTube. I have seen so many videos on the internet about her, and everyone here is disgusted that knows her. She has claimed abuse her whole life. She claims to have disabilities, she claims she never went to therapy. Everything out of her mouth is a lie. I literally saw a video where she says her stepmother abused her. No, she attacked her stepmother when her stepmother took her phone at 14 so she ran away to be with her boyfriend in a role-playing group. I know your videos haven't covered a lot of that story, but I'm just finding anybody that is willing to know that she was not abused. She has claimed abuse on her family, she's claimed abuse of friends, she's claimed abuse of people that have employed her. She says she can't hold a job due to disabilities, and she's a fraud. She was never thrown around in foster care, she went to a group home, when she was found in Georgia, after her and that Camden broke up, and she was found in a park, and then was picked up by her family. She never wanted to follow rules, she didn't want to go to school, she lived in a fantasy world online and the internet has ruined her, and now it's all about trying to become famous and making money. I also want to say this child from her whole story I heard online from the beginning is really disgusting. Shelby was a spoiled child who grew up with everything she's ever wanted. She lives in a fantasy world and is always a victim. She really needs to be in a mental hospital right now. 
The next claim is that she is disabled. Spencer often lies saying that she is disabled or has some sort of disability. However, that's far from the truth. As far as I know, she has no diagnosed physical disability. In fact, according to my source, she has attempted to get disability payments by pretending to be disabled in court and carrying a cane. This is also confirmed by the recent post on the subreddit, which is posted by an old friend of Spencer. One of the things that they said is that Spencer tried to get disability checks but was refused. Now, she had a job at a vape shop, but she couldn't hold it down because she had to mop a floor and she refused to do so because of her disability, or at least the disability she claims she has. But as far as I know, and as far as anybody I've talked to about this that's close to her knows, she does not have a disability or any diagnosed physical disability. Recently, she went online trying to get a lawyer to fight disability because she got a job and she said she couldn't mop because she's been trying to get disability forever. And she has no documentation for it, so she's been denied. So she pretends to be a victim all the time and that's how she gets what she wants. This is also confirmed by that Reddit post. Now, one of the major claims that she makes is that she was abused by Camden and was involved in this huge vampire cult. Now, Camden most likely did not have any type of cult, at least not one as big as her and Max claim. They say he has hundreds of members in this cult, however, this is most likely just a role-playing group of a bunch of people who were really into that stuff. On one of Max's current unlisted shorts, there is a screenshot of a Facebook post by what he alleges was Camden himself. The icon at the top of the post shows that whoever was seeing this post had to be a friend of Camden's on this account. But other than that, this pattern here I was able to reverse image search and it turns out it comes from a show called Teen Wolf. The show is about, quote, a young werewolf who defends his town from supernatural creatures. This same werewolf, quote, must control animalistic instincts that are amplified by feelings of aggression and full moons. Now, this might not seem too relevant, but Spencer over and over again claimed that in the many interviews she had, that Camden forced her to have sex with him outside whenever there was a full moon. So it seems like Camden was role-playing this character from the show, that or Spencer just made all of it up, because she was a fan of the show or something. As I talked about before, she's into some really messed up roleplay stuff, so it wouldn't surprise me. Now, when she ran away from home, Camden offered her to go live with him, so she ran away to Georgia to live with him. Just a few months later, she was found sleeping on a park bench and taken into a group home, until her family fought to get custody of her again and bring her home. The most likely reason for her leaving Camden is that Camden broke up with her and she didn't take that breakup very well. Did Camden abuse her? I can't confirm or deny. But judging from all these details I found, her history of lying, the recent Reddit post, and the story I got from my source, she most likely is at the very least heavily embellishing the facts of what happened. When she was back home, later on she reached out to Max through a friend who is Max's sister and Max offered to pay her and give her a place to live and quote, help her make YouTube money, in exchange of course, for her to be on camera and give her story about Camden. She most likely saw this as a good opportunity to get easy money and get back at Camden for the breakup. So it was a match made in heaven, he used her for the money and she used him for the money. Another one of her claims is that she was essayed in Arkansas on her way to Camden in Georgia. She says she was essayed on her way to Georgia in Little Rock, Arkansas. This happened according to her in the bus bathroom. However, Spencer is not this weak victim she tries to portray herself as. Her being essayed there without her fighting back or anyone hearing anything is most likely just a lie. Now, when she was booking her ticket in Dallas, she couldn't get one to Georgia because she was a minor at the time, but she did convince an elderly woman to buy a ticket for her, so she has been lying and manipulating her way at every step. The next claim is that she has multiple miscarriages. Even according to that same subreddit post, the OP explains that they found it odd that Spencer had that many miscarriages in that short of a time period. Now this one sort of ties in to, you know, her time with Camden. She alleges that she lived in Camden's family's home without them knowing. However, this most likely is not the case since if she lived there for a multiple months, for the whole family to not notice anything, I find hard to believe. The next and most recent claim is that Max is starving her and abusing her. Max is most likely not starving her. And actually, allegedly, Max has been using a food bank for some time now, at least since we got him fired from the Casa of El Paso thing. And Max is even paying the money he owes her around $5,000 in monthly payments of around $600. So he most likely does have some money left, but he just does not want to spend it and he's trying to pressure Spencer into leaving or something else. Now, I've been in contact with the Mama Max Discussion subreddit mods for some time now, and there has been some unusual activity going on in the sub, most likely Spencer or her friends making fake accounts, posting about Spencer to paint her in a good light, and then immediately deleting the accounts. 
There are even screenshots now of Spencer asking people to make posts about her in the sub, and allegedly she is currently back in the Dallas-Fort Worth area as of last week. So yeah, again, if there is any large YouTuber that would like to cover this, I'd be more than willing to put them in contact with my source so they can get all the up-to-date information and make their own video. The story definitely does go a lot deeper, so I'll make more videos on this if I get more info in the near future. Uh, so please, if you have any information and are close to either Max or Spencer, reach out anonymously and give your story. If Max or Spencer want to reach out and clear up some facts about anything I said, I am more than happy to host a dialogue here. I'm also trying to get to 1000 subs, so I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe and get me there so I can continue making videos like this one.